Hello, welcome back to the channel, it's JPA here. Now in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the up and coming old firm game. And I'm going to be giving my predictions for that game. I'll just get straight into this. So Sunday the 1st of September at 12 o'clock noon at Ibrox is the first old firm derby of the season. Now I still refer to it as an old firm derby despite the fact that people still say that it's not the old firm derby because Rangers died and all this pish. I, I don't agree with any of that so it's just knock that nonsense straight out the park. It's available on Sky Sports main event and it's also on Rangers TV if you haven't got Sky package. Uh, fortunately for me I've got a Sky package which means I've got to record the game. I'm going to have to watch it at a later time because I'm actually working on Sunday. Can't get out of it unfortunately. Uh, it'll be a really interesting game. And as much as I want to come out here and say Rangers are going to be too strong, I'm so confident and we're going to absolutely rip Celtic apart. For me that's not going to happen. It's going to be a lot closer than probably even Rangers fans think. We're confident because of the last two old firm games at Ibrox we managed to beat them. Uh, but Celtic are a good team. Uh, despite the fact that Neil Lennon's a manager, I don't think he's uh, a great manager by any means, but they've got good players. They've got good young players coming through and they're outscoring us this season so far. So I believe we'll be tight. I'm going to go for 2-1 Rangers and I'm going to go for unlikely goal scorers. I'm going to go for Katic with a header and I'm going to go for Scott Arfield. I know that might not be that unlikely considering he scored in the last old firm game at Ibrox, but when you look at goal scorers, you're looking at Aribo. You're looking at probably Ojo, Morelos, Defoe. None of them are in my prediction because normally these old firm games, it goes to the unlikely players for some reason. I don't know why that seems to happen. There'll be a massive focus on Alfredo Morelos, in my opinion, in this game. Firstly, he's never scored an old firm game, so there's always that to kind of uh, hang over his head that he's never done it. And secondly, obviously, the discipline thing, he was sent off in the, no, the last game, actually, it was the previous game at Parkhead, where he was sent off, and uh, obviously, Scott Brown had the better of him that day, in terms of winding him up, uh, so he'll be scrutinised for that, and uh, people will be watching him. Uh, I think we'll also be very closely looked at regarding the sectarian singing, which is something I didn't really want to bring up. Uh, because we behaved so well on Thursday night there, but it's probably going to be scrutinised again. So again, I urge fans to kind of uh, keep away from these kind of songs and uh, sing some different songs. And in terms of team news, uh, Barisic has got a concussion, and he's, there's a couple of stages apparently to the recovery of that injury. So I pretty much doubt he'll be involved in that game. Um, I think he'd probably get dropped for Flanagan anyway, being an old firm game. You need a lot more aggression in the tackle in an old firm game and uh, Barisic doesn't seem to have that in his game. He's got other qualities, uh, obviously you've seen his technique for the free kick last weekend and he's obviously good at getting forward. Flanagan gives you that little bit of aggression in the tackle that you probably need in an old firm game as long as it's not over the top, which he did in that last old firm game where he elbowed Scott Brown, as much as it was good to see that. He didn't want to risk getting yellow and red cards, obviously, so kind of rein it in a little bit, Flanagan. Um, the other one is Ojo. Ojo was a doubt on th Thursday night, and he managed to play through the pain barrier to play. I kind of see him risking him in this game. I think he'll probably drop him and bring Jones back in. Uh, I think Morelos... Is likely to start, but I wouldn't be surprised if. Uh, sorry about lighting there. Wouldn't be surprised if Jermaine Defoe came in. Uh, obviously, Jermaine Defoe played a big, big part in our field's goal when uh, when we beat them. So I can't seem to get this lighting right. Okay, that seems better. So that's pretty much all I've got to say on the old, but old firm game itself. Uh, one other thing I will add is. Uh, Jake Casty is on the verge of signing for Rotherham United on loan. I believe it'll be a good 
move for him. Uh, a lot of people kind of mourning, saying, well, why did we bring him in? Uh, he's obviously one of the players that we brought in for the future. He's like Glenn Middleton. He'll go on loan and he'll, he'll get experience in game time and he'll come back a better player. Uh, and we'll have two really good young wingers that will be able to integrate into the team next season or possibly even the season after that. But I believe it's the right move for him just now. And I'm I'm pretty much happy with that. Uh, get get your views and opinions obviously down below, and we'll talk about it. But I genuinely believe that it's a good move for Hasty, and it's a it's a good move for Rotherham as well, who are getting obviously a, a really good player. Uh, so I'm just going to wrap this video up, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And as always, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Let's keep climbing. Uh, we broke the the 150 eventually, which I really want to thank everybody for doing that. Uh, we're looking at the next target which is 160 we'll try and break that and hopefully by the end of the season get to that magic 200 number uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video cheers guys